But I'm a general partner at Balderton. I joined uh, about six months ago. And I just recently came over from Silicon Valley where I was with Uber. Okay. And have, uh, you know, and it's fantastic to be back in Europe. So you, you've, been, you've been working for Dropbox, you were head of the mobile, yeah? And uh, what, what about Uber? You were... So Uber, I was vice president of mobile, yeah. so doing strategic alliances with big partners to either fuel the rider growth, so you know, passengers or driver growth, mm -hmm. which was the people sitting behind the wheel and just helping fuel that growth, basically. Okay, all right. It must have been an interesting trip to have these all, all different, different um, well, companies which grow like this. So it, you must have enjoyed it. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, it's incredible to, to see, see it from the inside and to work with incredible people like Travis at, at, at Uber and Drew at Dropbox and, and see how they think and, and be there with them. And I mean, it's really, it's very inspiring. I, I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think? We are, because we, we Finns, we, you've been head of mobile, so, but we Finns, we, we think that we are head of mobile as well. What do you think about that? It's yeah. like, uh, yeah. you, you know, it's really fun. So I, I went to the Valley in 2008 and people had no idea what mobile was all about at the time. You, you couldn't send a text message from one operator to another operator because there was no interoperability. Yeah. So they, they didn't know much, like mobile wasn't hard. And Euro Europeans, and we, we've actually forgotten that a little bit, Europeans were way ahead on mobile, mobile services and sort of the acceptance by people. Yeah. Ringtones is an example, obviously mobile games, yeah. but also, I mean, Nokia was really dictating how people, they were using their mobiles. And it just hadn't happened in the US at the time. And it was with, in 2000 and, uh, 2008, when, uh, iOS launched and when Android launched that was where so, so the iPhone launched in 2007 uh, and then followed by Android and that was really when everything it sort of like started there yeah. and then it took a few years to ramp up and all the mobile developers they came from the web so yeah. there were practically no mobile developers at the time and it took it. a few years before, before that caught up yeah, so you're touching a that. good you're touching a big point there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. think about that it's it's only only that short time since it was like that so yeah. it, it has changed like this yeah and, and this is why i think it can change again i think europe can do something that lead the way on like a certain sector to really change that again and this is what i'm hoping and this is why i think conferences like this where you have 1500 people showing up to talk about entrepreneurial activities is incredible right yeah yeah, yeah for sure uh, and so so is it how, how do you see it is it like the European, they, they invent, they, they uh, get these ideas and then they start to process it and then, then the guys in the Silicon Valley, then they catch it and then they scale it for big. No, I wouldn't say that. No. Uh, but but I, I think you have to do things different. I mean, Silicon Valley right now is the epicenter of, of innovation. I, yeah. I would argue that. And one very big advantage that there is in Silicon Valley is the, the density of the area. It's very very high so you have a lot of people in a very small area yeah. which means it's just easy to access it's easy to network it's easy to do deals it's easy to hire etc which is more of a challenge here but what we see in Europe now is all these hubs start to appear so you have London as a hub yeah. you have Stockholm as a hub you have Paris as a hub you have Helsinki as a hub you know Amsterdam etc so you have all these hubs that are growing at the same pace mm -hmm. I mean I think the energy it's here cool, isn't it? it's incredible like the yeah. energy here is amazing you have there's just energy everywhere. I mean, you see people talking, like discussing things everywhere. You see talks on different stages. You know, people are having fun. People are testing out things. That there's a fantastic energy here, and it's something that's really important as part of the ecosystem to build up, like the entrepreneurs in Europe. It is that you have networking events. There will be very, very big results coming out out of an event like this because everybody comes positive with a positive attitude and want to get something out of it. And that's that's a really important ingredient for, for success, really. Yeah, and I, how I see it, because I, I go through quite a bit of events also, and uh, those huge, big events, they, well, they are good. You see a lot, but the meeting the right people, it's much harder, and how I see it here, it's, it's something else. Yeah. yeah, and there's a real effort as well in the planning to the event, with communicating with attendees and say, uh, encourage people to meet up, encourage people to network and so on. I think that's a big 
success factor as well that you like in the planning basically up to the event because once the event kicks off it's it takes on a whole different dimension yeah definitely so so what what is the what is the um, what is your goal from from this event are you are you, are you looking for for the uh, uh, more companies where to invest or are you are you just what is, what is your goal for for the event do you have something? absolutely yeah I mean it's meeting new companies seeing new opportunities um, in fact, the, the the gentleman who just walked by there, uh, who you who you waved to as well. I mean, so cool yeah. to build a messaging technology like that, right? Yeah, With future, a gaming, future fly. Yeah. unbelievable, yeah. right? And it's to meet people like that who I get inspired by and yeah. who I want to help, and you know, discuss. Okay, how do you think about growth, and how is that in gaming, and how do you think about changing that to something like building on top of that for the future? Uh, I mean, super inspiring. So just meet people like that inspires me. And, and this is, I think it's a role we all have to play. We all have to help each other to, to, to get Europe up and uh, back to the point as it was before, as yeah. you mentioned before, where Europe was really, you know, ahead of mobile. Ahead of mobile, yeah. yeah.